Okay, we are going to start with the simplest possible installation. Uh, as you will see, this will take a total of maybe 5 to 10 minutes. And this is what we call the plug and play option. So the first thing to make sure is you have the necessary uh, devices and accessories. So let me show you starting with the President Taylor ASC3 model. Uh, this is one of our most popular transceivers from President. And as you can see, it's an AM and FM model. So if you have the button on the left hand side, it's an AM mode and the other side on FM. And it's a model that's been used for uh, you know decades for people that like car rallies, expeditions, uh, even in dumper trucks. So it's really a radio built for what I would call strong use in tough conditions. So obviously you need a radio. Uh, the other accessory that is really important is the antenna itself. Uh, what you're looking at is a CB antenna and if you look at the bottom you can see this flat metal plate over here this is magnetic so this is a magnetic clamp Missouri antenna that is used uh, a very popular antenna from President again and uh, this is going to be used in conjunction with the Taylor model and you will see how to install it in a couple of minutes the other thing that you see over here is a toss meter a toss meter is a very valuable tool to measure the efficiency of the installation once you have installed it in your vehicle. Once you install the antenna and the CB radio, we will actually show you what the toss meter does. And essentially a well calibrated toss means that you have an antenna and a CB radio that has been mounted well. So with these tools, uh, let's begin and we'll take you inside the vehicle and show you how this is done. Okay, so we are going to start with the simplest plug-and-play installation. Uh, you can see here with me I have the Taylor ASC3 model from President. Uh, it's one of the toughest models used by people for rallies, adventure sports and so on. And uh, we are sitting here on a Land Rover that is used by a sports enthusiast. So this is the Taylor 3. Uh, along with it I have a magnetic clamp antenna. And that's why this solution is called plug and play because to mount the antenna and this CB radio will take us a total of five minutes or less. So what I'm first going to do is to connect the antenna cable. As you can see, this is the end of the antenna cable. Each president antenna actually comes with this cable and this connector pre-installed. And I'm going to turn the CB radio backwards. This is the back of your Taylor 3 ASC radio and you can see there is a connector pin over here so all you have to do to connect the antenna is basically slip the cover over the connector and just screw it so that the connection is tight as you can see my fingers are turning the connector but it's not moving anymore so it means it's snug so there you have it your antenna is actually connected at this point now the second thing that you have to do in this plug-and-play type environment is this as you can see is again a cable connected to the CB radio this is our power source the power source in this case is going to go into the cigarette lighter plug of the vehicle and all you have to do is literally this and you are connected so at this point my CB radio in a way even though the antenna is not fully installed is live if I wanted to I could transmit and I could actually turn on the CB radio as you can see now I have a display coming on and that means that this connection over here to the battery of the uh, car is functional now. So now what I have to do is now that I've connected the CB radio and the antenna is I have to put the antenna on the roof at my desired location. As you can see the uh, CB president antenna is magnetically clamped to the middle of the roof. Uh, that is normally the ideal location if you are mounting the antenna on the roof because there is enough of a reflective surface around the antenna to optimize the transmission of the signal. Okay, so now that you've seen the CB radio, the Taylor ASC3 model here, that's installed into the cigarette plug of the car, and we have just installed an antenna on the roof, the magnetic clamp, uh, the next thing we typically do is to check the efficiency of the transmission using a toss meter. Uh, this will allow us to say how much of the signal is being transmitted versus lost, so it's a very important parameter. What you're looking at is a toss meter and a toss meter effectively what this does is it allows you to measure the transmission loss uh, in a CB installation. So if you look at the back of this you can see two jacks. Uh, if you look at the front one says trance the other says ant. 
So what I'm going to do now is, if you remember when we installed the CB antenna, it was installed at the back of the tailor. I'm going to remove it from the tailor and I am going to put it into the input jack of the toss meter on the ant side. So once that is snugly fitted, and again always make sure your connections are tight, I am going to take the other cable that comes with the toss meter that is connected to the trans side of the toss meter and I am going to connect this now to the back of the Taylor CB radio. So all we've basically done is effectively put the toss meter between the antenna and the CB radio. So the way the calibration works is you can see there are a couple of buttons here. There's a rotary knob on this and then there is a button that says FWD forward and REF reverse on the toss meter. And then there is a scale with a needle that allows you to read. So the way the toss measurement works is first make sure your CB radio is on. As you can see, we've selected channel 20 for the calibration in the FM mode, so that's here. So the CB radio is on and that's the first step. The second thing to do now is to push this button so it is in the FWD position or the forward position and then push to talk. You don't have to talk but just keep the push to talk microphone pressed. And as you can see the red needle now when I did that has moved to the far extreme of the scale. With this calibration button, you know, modify it such that the red needle in the FWD position is in fact at the far right end of the scale, the extreme end of the scale. If that is the case, then while you're keeping the push to talk pressed, push this button to the REF side. And what you see happening over here now is the needle drops down to almost one. Uh, that's a perfect toss reading. A reading of 1 basically means that your antenna is perfectly installed and you have almost no signal loss and typically an acceptable good CB installation would be between 1 and 1.5. If your toss measurement is exceeding 1.5 I would recommend actually you try different antenna positions and you repeat the measurement until you get a toss that is below 1.5.